modern Android phones do not actually need an external antivirus app. But if you want to be extra cautious, then give this app a try. It's a lightweight open source malware scanner for Android that not only lets you scan for malware manually, but also automatically detects malware in real time. So whenever you unwittingly welcome any malware onto your device through any app or website, it detects it automatically and notifies you so you can get rid of it. It's super fast, has no effect on your battery, it can be used offline, and it's totally free. So give it a shot. The next one is an amazing open source lightweight privacy app for Android that lets you hide your files efficiently in a unique way. It sounds like a regular file hider, but it is not because the app hides your files even when they are not hidden. You just simply throw all your files in a folder and give the app access to that folder. That's it. Now you can hide all the files in that folder with just a click regardless of their format. It's not encrypting your files, instead it just obscures the file names and signatures making them unreadable to humans so your files will be safe and private even though you keep them unhidden as you can see. You can unhide them by simply tapping on the unhide button whenever you want. It's simple, easy to use and serves the purpose to average phone users. This one is a free open source tool using which you can track and manage your mobile and Wi-Fi data usage in one place. Apart from being able to measure your data traffic and analyze app-wise data usage, you can also keep track of your internet speed at a glance. It not only shows the internet speed on your status bar and notification bar, but also shows on your lock screen so you don't even have to unlock your phone to check the speed of your current connection. In addition, you get a widget for data usage tracking, you can set data usage alerts, run network diagnostics, etc. So try it out to manage everything about your internet usage. The next one is an open source search focused Android launcher that makes it easy for you to search for pretty much anything from the home screen itself. The global search of the launcher not only lets you search for on-device apps, contacts, messages and calendar events but also lets you search for your files, search for anything on Google, YouTube and Play Store directly from here, including Wikipedia and website previews. You can access the search bar along with the app drawer either by tapping on search or by swiping down on the screen like this. The launcher keeps the home screen super clean with only the time and date displayed at the bottom, but if you swipe up, you get to access a few widgets with the ability to add a few more widgets if you want. You can further customize the launcher the way you want. You can change the app grid layout, change icon shapes and size, use external icon packs, set gesture based controls and stuff. And you get this cool little charging animation while your phone gets charged. Overall, it's super clean and it's working fine. Next, we got an open source app store for Android, which is actually an F-Droid client that's comparatively faster than F-Droid and also looks much better than F-Droid. It works the same as F-Droid, you can search for apps of multiple categories, sort and filter them by categories and install them from here. You can check for new app releases in a separate tab, see the list of downloaded apps from F-Droid and its client etc. And the app also notifies you when there are updates available for installed apps. Overall, it's good. So those are some of the best Android apps that are not available on the Play Store in 2023. I really hope you found the video informative. Leave a like and comment appreciating the video if you did. And subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this. Thanks for watching.